All right, today's gonna be an awesome day. <laughs> No, 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 not today, not today. Crap. All right, so I ended up going with the anti-gravity batteries. I have never used this brand before, but I've seen so many good reviews and it seems like the quality is on par with what I was looking for. So this is what I, the direction I went. All right, so you have an awesome battery in here. It's super small, so the packaging is small. And then in addition to that, you also have the possibility of like multiple ways to, you know, put it or maybe different places in the bike uh, because it has multiple uh, poles, which will give you the more, you know, ability to, you know, put it in different places so you can reach with your cables or, you know, whatever um, scenario, depending on a custom bike or maybe your existing bike. In addition to that, this battery has the restart um, option, which is this one right here. This is actually a button you can press and you will be pressing that button if this actually drops so much that the battery is gonna be protecting itself by not um, going into that level where you are not gonna be able to recover this battery anymore. And at that point, then you can actually restart it. And think about restarting like you're waking up the battery. You're gonna be pretty much like waking the battery and this is just gonna give you the ability to you know, get your bike started and then uh, out in a pinch, if you don't have you know, any power or any place to get help, you can actually you know, get out of a pretty you know, a spicy situation by having this option in here. So. Fair warning, um, if you look at the box, the box is actually mentioning the type of uh, different batteries that this battery is replacing. Although I know I have the cranking amps that I need for my GSX S1000, this battery is primarily based, they sell it for people who are maybe using for a track bike or not a on and off type bike they use on a daily basis. So I've been commuting on my VFR more and more, but I'm still going to take this for a test to see how it performs if I were to use my bike on a daily basis, just so I can give you an idea of how this uh, battery will behave on normal circumstances. Although anti-gravity does not recommend this battery for normal use um, for a bike of, you know, 100, 600 cc's and above. So that's just something that, you know, uh, first statement, so it, it, that's going to be on me, not on them. They actually gave me the warning. I just decided to go against it. Um, last thing is, I'm not going to be able to use my my battery tender anymore, the one that I'm using before for, you know, AGM, lead acid type of batteries, because it's not uh, designed to perform with lithium bat batteries. So this one, you can see that it's either, you know, going to be working for lead acid batteries or lithium for lead battery acids will, that will be the same as you know any agm or any stuff like that and then in here this will be the ones going to be lighting up whenever i am charging one of these batteries and of course pretty standard comes with the easy connector as well as some you know actual crimps that you can put on top when you are you have your battery you know outside of your bike or maybe even in your bike if you're not you don't have a permanent cable on your bike and then it provides you with one that you can leave on your battery so you can continue to charge your your battery even when the battery is on the bike and you don't have to be pulling this one so you can actually connect straight to this easy connector all right so the biggest thing is the weight and i'm just gonna be putting this one here and we're looking at seven pounds, four ounces. Scale went back to zero, actually minus, yeah, yeah, went back to zero. And I'm just gonna put this one on. And we're looking at a pound, four ounces. We are dropping about six pounds from the bike.
All right, so that's it. I mean, super simple, similar to last video. Uh, it takes more recording the actual video than, than actually installing the port and showing to you, you know, how it performs. So I'm not expecting any difference in performance. Um, I'm expecting at least the bike to crank um, the previous battery, if I'm not mistaken. I think it was in the 180, 160, uh, one between 150 and 180 cranks, um, cold cranking amps and this one is 150, which is why I determined that if this can pack a really good punch, um, I'm going to take my chances and give it a try based on, you know, dropping six, seven pounds uh, of weight of the bike. So let's just give it a try. Everything looks normal.